This video is dedicated to the headset app and understanding its function and features. The headset app has very similar functionality as the web application of headset. So if you've been through the web application, you're going to find very similar features. The headset app can be found on Google Play and the App Store. All you have to do is type in headset sports and you will find the app in both of these different stores. Once you download it, you're going to come to the headset homepage. There are two red banners that are there that we're going to talk about. We have the login registration and then the notifications banner. We will focus more on the login registration and at the end we'll talk about the notifications. Once you click on the login registration banner, you will come to this page. If you already have credentials, you will put in your credentials, your username, which is your email and password. If you haven't yet, please register for a program. You can register for the month to month, the yearly, the team, or the 30 day free trial. Whichever that you choose, uh, you will come to this particular page. This is known as the headset dashboard. The headset dashboard has all the numerical displays. It has the weekly points, monthly points, overall points, and then it has information on each of the five pillars for your weekly progression and monthly progression. I will show you those very soon. Before we do, top left hand corner, these are important icons. You have your three bars here with the amber. That is your activities that are pending. Here, if this was highlighted, it would be red. The exclamation point, these are activities that are already past due. So you need to get to them right away. Once again, the dashboard will also have within it the five pillars and you can track your five pillars at the very bottom. You have the final five, your last five activities that can complete. And then you have a month to month comparison for yourself uh, over the last three months. At the top of the dashboard, you're going to have this red square with three lines. That's important because this particular area enables you to go from the dashboard to the me page. So you click that on and then you go to the me page, which is this page. The me page has my activities, my events, my badges, video library, calendar, my account, just like the web application. For the dashboard, you have my activities. If you go to my activities, you'll have assessments, wows, weekly updates, and performance debriefs. You click on any of those and you will be able to activate all your activities that you're going through. A couple of important differences. When you click on the wows, the wows won't fit all on the same page. So you have to go from right to left. So this is an example of your mental wows page, your workouts of the week. As you will see, you will have some of the information, but then you have to scroll over from right to left to be able to access all of it. Next, if you go to my events, you will see the my events page here. This is where you create the event, just like the web application. But the difference is again, going from right to left, you will not see all the information that is on the events page. So your pre-competition checklist, and also your performance debrief doesn't fit all together. So you have to go from right to left and just a little scroll over and you can see your pre-competition checklist, your debriefs as well when you go back over your competition games. The last part that I wanna show you is looking at the notifications. We have uh, push notifications. So if there, you need to complete a wow, you need to update your calendar, if there's anything going on on social media that we want you to take a look into, that's where you're going to find it.